fluorescent paintings. Chances are, if you will Google that term, the results to talk about art tourism, where the itinerary revolves around seeing the destination's artistic heritage. But what I mean by tourism paintings are works that show what makes the place different or special. Instead of reading the must-see places, the must-do activities, and the must-witness festivities, they are visualized. And Pinoy artists usually paint the landmarks, people, the festivals. But Marco Dispocanes' work is a bit different from the usual Philippine tourism paintings. Canyas is from Bolinao, Pangasinan, which is not lacking in beautiful landmarks and landscapes or festivities. But he chose to paint. Well, actually, when I saw this, I did not know what I was looking at except for the native bag. I just assumed it was packaging for the rest of the mysterious items. Turns out that it's a bag made from intricately designed mats or buri that Bolinao is known for. They make other booty products as well that is good for Pasalubong. And then I understood what type of tourism painting Kanyas painted, Bolinao Pasalubong. It's a wonderful visual reminder on not only what to eat while in Bolinao, but what to bring home to your friends and family. Now, I have never been to Bolinao. Um, I guess I should mention here, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, the name of the town, I'm sorry. Anyway, but if I were to base what is the star pasalubong of Bolinao, it would be the buri bag because not only does it stand tall, it catches the most light. The buri bag was the very first thing I saw. Chances are it was the first thing you saw too, especially as it's in the center. It also stands out as it's the only one not painted in a dark shade of green. Speaking of green, Kanya's painting is almost a lesson in different types of green. The background is in different shades of blue. Blue and green are next to each other in the color wheel, so they work well together. I could not make out what the rest of the items were, and the artist kindly obliged. According to the town's official website, Binongge, Binongge, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Bamboo cake. It is Bolinao's most popular native cake. It is made of sticky rice, coconut milk, and salt and served with banana leaf covering. It is eaten with cocoa jam sugar and ripe mangoes. The bagoong and dried fish are also standard pasalubong. Tanya's painting is what is called still life, but instead of the use of fruits and flowers, he drew the pride of his hometown, but he does it quietly and subtly. He does not scream bully now, thus avoids making it look like a commercial piece or a menu. He still maintains the quiet elegance of art. If you're not familiar with Berlinau like I was minutes ago, Kanyas' painting is a good conversation piece where you can talk about it with others, wondering what the items are, just like what I did with the artist himself. Art that makes people talk is essential. Art is essential.